Hello, it's Karen Remay here. It's been a while, hasn't it? And that's really my fault. We've just found doing this in general to not really be something that I'm particularly interested in investing my time into anymore. So that's that's my fault. <clears throat> but it's not like I'm not going to be doing any more videos, obviously, since I'm doing this one right now. But basically, the plan at this point is just if I find something that I did that was apparently really cool or hilarious and might actually make some pretty good content for uploading, then that's what I'm going to be doing, is that's the content that I'm going to be uploading. So, a lot has happened since I last did anything. So. For example, we have me playing as the Incas, which is a new thing since I started doing the channel. It's like, right when I jumped to DE, like, straight from Conqueror's expansion, so I, like, had 17 sibs before I found DE. I absolutely fell in love with the Incas, and then I saw the online community and how much they were just, like, needed for tower rushing, and I'm like, okay, maybe not. Especially since I'm not super comfortable doing aggro with anything other than Lithuanians right now. Since back then it was basically fast castles and knights, but now the castle and blood latest. <laughs> and don't forget your relics. So, what's happened? I basically transitioned from Lithuanians to Tatars, Gauls, Bulgarians, Mayans. I became notorious on Reddit for hating the wall meta and now Incas. So, what do I even hate about walls? Honest, honestly, it's just the fact that it's so easy to obnoxiously say, "No, no, 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 come back later." My strategy doesn't start until Castle Age. Just keep walling behind and walling behind, unless your opponent has either towers or archers. There's literally nothing you can do about it. Well, there's literally everything you can do about it. You can just say, no, come back later, and if your opponent doesn't have towers or archers, that basically means that you're in control of the game. So, naturally, <coughs> after learning how to eagle rush as Mayans, I'm like, Hey, you know a certain eagle sieve that I really like that also has good tower rushes, apparently? So that's the plan for this game, is to go for eagles and towers if necessary, but hopefully they're not, because hopefully my guy's not a fucking turtle. Basically, I've gotten to the point where extended feudal aggro is my best friend. The longer feudal lasts, the better it is for me. And yes, okay. Guys, this is averted. I think maybe I've been that time. I don't even see. As I'm sure you figured out by the thumbnail, this is going to be a particularly interesting one because it'll eventually hit Castle and I'm going to be having redemption monks on my end. And for some reason, probably obvious reason, my monks can't read French so they don't understand what no soliciting means. Or whatever that is in French, I'm probably going to look it up because I haven't actually done the thumbnail yet, is recording this. But... There's me and the Incas, and there's one of my friends is Mayans. And so we universally have a weakness to sieves that thrive against anything except everything that isn't cavalry. Which I really can't think of one right now. But you get the point.
but that doesn't seem to be an issue here, since I have a hard counter on my end. Given Kamiak versus Knight, it's just... It's an absolute slaughter. And since Slavs are an infantry civilization, I think Supreme Dark Troops are going to do amazing on my allies' end, so... There's no concern about the late game, my only concern is while getting there. So there's Purple's Scout God, but he saw my double rat, so he's probably going to tell Yellow something about it, whether he dares I'm going through Eagle to Spears or Full Trash Rush or Men at Arms, I don't know, I don't care, all I know is that he knows about me. I've already hit 100 gold, which means I can start doing constant eagle production from double racks, and I have enough food floating to get both infantry armor upgrades, both, well, both infantry upgrades, which means I'm going to just be throwing fully upgraded eagles into the mix. Including my starting eagle who's somewhere, I don't know. See, I'm just over here happily putting everything up and getting ready to aggro. <clears throat> I find eagles to be a very powerful end all beetle counter unit. I mean, they get countered by men at arms, and they lose equal numbers to scout cavalry. But both of those are very food intensive units, and food is what you really need to be conserving in feudal age. Unfortunately, it looks like Yellow's already walled, so let me see if I can harass him or anything. I'm having my doubts about it, but. It's never impossible until it is. Given how long we've been in feudal and the fact that Yeller's just hitting and purple's just now hitting, I nagging suspicion they're probably going for a fast castle, which probably explains the walls. So let me just have like eagles everywhere trying to harass and force into wall behind. Generally having fun making him idle his villagers to build walls behind and suddenly I'm not actually doing anything with the wall tile that he's building behind anymore and it's hilarious. And I'm trying to keep myself with a pretty good eco back at home and trying to keep myself from getting housed and trying to keep eagles up and trying to keep villagers up and like all the things that I should be doing as a- oh by the way I'm also a 1300 player now instead of an 1100 player as I was when I started the channel. I've never actually dipped below a thousand, I was at 1006 against the lion player and I was convinced I was absolutely fucked but now nope, I managed to pull that out of the drain. Yeah, it seems like this guy's fully walled, so next stop is towers. My current motto is You Turtle, I Tower, which I found to be an extremely effective <coughs> motto for pretty much everything, since my main goal is to get feudal aggro out and do damage with my feudal aggro, and Having opponents turtling is not supportive of doing people aggro. And the fucking turtle is hit Castle Age. So the immediate concern becomes the fact that I'm just gonna have knights out that just mop everything up because 
right, let's do that. And it's got Red Knight, which means he also gets three bloodlines effectively. But this just means I have to shift my priorities, which is why I put up my market so that I have a secondary building to advance to castle on. And I need to put more on gold, so I'm getting net positive while still doing double rack eagles. And I need to put more on food, so I have a net positive while doing double rack eagles and also managing my town center. And it just leads to everything being bonkers. So nothing's bonkers, I'm just gonna click up eventually. Unfortunately, I think he saw my villagers. I actually never pay attention to the instant I get my tower up. And there's my ally saying he's about to click up, which means I probably need to do some market management. And bringing my town bell is a pretty effective way to get a massive food drop off. And he's abandoned that wood line. Except he has a siege workshop right there. And he also has this villager out of range of my tower. You see how, like, desperate these people are to just keep walling behind? This is why I hate the wall meta. People just keep on doing this, and there's no reasonable way to stop it except for having archers, which isn't necessarily what you opted for in the first place, or hitting castle yourself, which kind of ruins the point of it being feudal aggro. There's my ally pointing out that the workshop's there. And that was amazing. So let me just... have to admit that was a nice shot. But yeah, there goes any chance of me doing any reasonable aggro until I hit Castle Age. But thankfully I have a plan for when I do hit Castle Age. And it's gonna be sweet. And it's gonna be hilarious, and it's gonna be like exactly why this video exists. And it wasn't just another game that got put in the gutter. TC idle. Basically what I'm going to have these three forward villagers do is build a monastery. Now the Incan Monk tree is actually really good. They have reduction and block printing in the Imperial Age. They're just missing fervor and atonement, both one of which is the quality of life, and the other of which is extremely situational anyway. So I'm not really concerned about the quality of my monks <clears throat> as an Inca player, which is good, because it means that I basically have an equivalent to Bombard Cannon, which is good, because as an Inca player I don't get Bombard <laughs> And here my ally is with a crossbow mass against the guy who tried to full ball in his gold miners, because that totally works. So yeah, fun. I'm just keeping those three villagers up there, because eventually I'm going to drop a forward castle. Don't know what was there, but it's not there anymore. Just keep all my production up. It's one of one of the big things I've been working on was my macro management, because I used to be absolute shit at macro. My micro? Impeccable to some extent. My macro? Shit. But now that I have Redemption Monks, I feel comfortable with my ability to just convert any of his mangoes that he sends in if he sees my castle. Which I'm pretty sure he does, and he's like, ooh, that's not good. But I'm just gonna turn off the view lock at this point and just put it on 
the UI because what happens here is pretty much the only important thing anymore. See Mango and move my equals back. I send my monk forward to convert it. I send my monk forward to convert the other mango, except my mango kills the other mango, so I try to convert his villager, she runs off. So like the mad lad I am, I try to convert his death cavalry. And he'll just sit down and eventually use him to explore his base. Since I never actually managed to get line of sight on most of it, and most of the line of sight I do have is outdated anyway. Castle up, and I'm going to get my monk to convert that market. And he's probably wondering what I'm doing, and somebody's just probably shouting something in French about solicitors. And he can't delete the market because it means I let my equals in, but he really can't do anything to counter my monk so that when I convert the market, I can delete it and let my eagles in. And he just up and resigns. Just like that. Absolute fucking turtle. Completely deserved it. If he was just going to turtle that heart and boom on a no golden pit, it's modern Arabia, it's pseudo Arabia. And here's my ally being an absolute mad lad too, but like, you deserve th and look at my ego being shit, but like, you deserve this if you're trying to boom on Golden Pig. It's not what this map is for, this is not arena. You trying to make it DIY arena makes me want to tower you even more. Yeah, my ally carried, but I feel like my move is what made Yellow resign, so I'm just going to take that as a W. There's not much to see in here in the statistics or anything, they're just stuff that keeps going on, meaning the fact that I apparently maps the most units. I collect the most gold, because eagles and monks and redemption. But, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sure that was a pleasant plot twist at the end, like, standard YouTuber spiel, and I will see you whenever the hell I do next.